Job 21, Job. Then Job replied, Listen carefully to my words. Let this be the consolidation you, you give me. Bear with me while I speak, and after I have spoken, muck on. Why is my complaint directed to a human being? Why should I not be impatient? Look at me and be apl applaud. Clap your hands over your mouth. And then, when I think about this, I am terrified. Trembling seizes my body. Why do the wicked live on? Growing old and increasing in power, they see their children established around them, their offspring before their eyes. Their homes are safe and free from fear. The rod of God is not on them. Their bulls never fail to breed. Their cows calve and do not miscarry. They send forth their children as a flock, and their little ones dance about. They sing to the music of tribal and lyre. They make merry in the sound of the pipe. They spend their years in prosperity and go down to the grave in peace. Yet they say to God, Leave us alone. I have no desire to know your ways. Who is the Almighty that we should serve him? What would we gain by praying to him? But their prosperity is not on their own hand, so I do not allow from the plans of the wicked. Yet how often is the lamb of the wicked snuffed out? How often does calamity come upon them? The fate of God allots in his anger. How often are they like the straw before the wind, like chaff swept against away by a, a gale? It is said, God stores up the punishment of the wicked for their children. Let them repay the wicked so that they themselves will experience it. Let their own eyes see their destruction. Let them drink the cup of the wrath of the Almighty for what they care about the families that they leave behind. When their allotted months come to an end, can anyone teach knowledge to God since he judges even the highest? One person dies in full vigor, completely secure and at ease, well nourished in body, bones rich with marrow. Another dies in bitterness of soul, never having enjoyed anything good. Side by side they lay in the dust and the worms cover them both. I know full well that what are you th what you're thinking. The schemes by which you could would wrong me. You say, where now is the house of the great, the tents that have wicked lived? Have you ever questioned those who travel? Have you paid no regard in their accounts? That the wicked have, are spared from the day of calamity? That they are delivered from the day of wrath? Who denounces their conduct to their faces? Who pays them for what they have done? They are carried to the grave and watch is kept over their tombs. The soil in their valley is sweet with them, and everyone follows after them. The countless throgs goes before them. So how can you console me with your nonsense? Nothing is left of your answers but falsehood.